Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now it seems like Crystal and her boo are having some trouble, you guys. You guys already know she has been talking about having someone tricking on her and spending a lot of money on her. Now for those of you who do not know, I did do a video on this topic some time ago. Make sure you check the card in the video or check the description as I will leave it linked there for you guys who haven't seen it. But apparently, Crystal went to Miami last year with this girl who is called C and they had a great time as you can see guys in the beginning of the video i did show you a clip where they were actually together and she had crystal over her shoulder now it does seem like over the weekend crystal was in miami with zavo and king darren but by the time they got back something seemed to have happened that caused a bit of trouble in paradise now not too long after the weekend her boo did take to her instagram story and she did say single as f always be wanting attention and i'm over this ish done be a nice now it seems it didn't take long for crystal to actually catch wind of what her boo said and she shortly after took to her twitter and said this coming to the internet to announce your single when i never told the internet about you to begin with is crazy clout is a hell of a drug now messy marge was very quick to out crystal on seeing this girl from since late last year but the post has since been taken down you guys now crystal did take to her twitter to say that she found the love of her life but in the wake of all of this happening between her and c it seems like she wasn't actually talking about her now it does seem like crystal only saw her as someone she can get some gifts from and somebody who was tricking on her but not somebody she was willing to claim you guys but as always leave your thoughts and opinions opinions in the comment section down below but while we are on the topic of crystal my loves i did think it was important to mention that she and kenzie did do a video on kenzie's channel and they did ask some spicy questions now jazz was brought up in that video and she did specify on why she doesn't want to cover up her tattoo and whether or not she still has feelings for jazz here is what she had to say they say, you still have feelings for Jazz, because why that tattoo not covered? You need to do what Kenzie and Zabo did and get that shit covered. <laughs> <laughs> My tattoo has nothing to do with potential or n not any feelings at all for Jazz. My tattoo <laughs> is about the placement. It's hard to cover it. <laughs> it's hard. But that's still not an excuse. Because you could do it. <laughs> I can't find me a tattoo artist, so... <laughs> That's my answer and I'm sticking to it. Period. Y'all heard what she said. She said what she said. Period. All right. But as always, you guys, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Let me know why you think Crystal isn't getting that tattoo removed. Do you think there is more to it and that she's actually hoping for maybe a reconciliation between her and Jazz sometime in the future? And if you're actually going to be here for it. Now, I did report yesterday that Karina and Flo did do a video together and it did shake up the internet quite a bit. Now, in that video, I did show you guys that Karina was helping Flo around the house. But what I didn't realize is that she may actually have slept over that night. Because as you can see here, the same glass dish that was seen in the video was on Karina's story shortly thereafter. And she did post a picture of her in her bonnet as well. It even looks like they actually made dinner and had a nice chill night on that very same day. But guys, let me know how you feel about them being so close after such a short period of time in light of everything that has happened. So it does seem that Cam has recently been released from jail as of today, you guys. But upon his release, he doesn't seem to be feeling the fact that Nadia was all up on Eli recently. He did take to his Instagram story and he said, feds ain't stopping ish, I'm back. Everybody stay on that side when they switched up. Switched up, stay on that side, man. Almani did take to his Beagle Live and he did speak on the situation. He even stated that Cam isn't too happy with Nadia and said that she is on time out. Cam just got out of jail today and he's seeing all the bullshit. Damn, I really wanted to see Cam and Nadia. You are, they gonna be on there. Cam just says she on punishment. So I'm pretty much sure you guys can tell that there will be a rerun of Influencer City very soon, okay? So I think the fact that Nadia is getting close to other male influencers does not rub right with Cam. But as always, let me know what you think. 
your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below you guys he did actually go live not too long ago after he got released and guys he's really happy to be free and he did state that he got into a really nasty fight while he was in jail all of his face is really messed up guys but i will leave the live for you guys to watch towards the ending of the video as always thank you so much for watching my loves if you made it towards the end of the video make sure you spam the comments with my favorite emoji which is the white hearts guys you already know what it is i will see you guys in the next video peace Hey, hey, wait till I get that haircut though. I'm the ugly as hell right now, y'all. Look at my face. I had, I had got to fight in jail. I, I was fighting in jail and shit, y'all. That's why my face look like this. Look. I was fucking fighting in jail, bro. That's what that's why my fucking face look like this. Look. But I'm finna go get that haircut real quick. I look like a little I look like a little Indian nigga. <laughs> niggas tried to niggas tried to play on my top in jail, so I wasn't going for it. Niggas had to fight. But I'll be right back. I'm finna go get the haircut real quick. By the time nigga miss you. I missed you too, Baba. Watch this, I'm finna go get go get right, boy. Nigga, hey, nigga, hey, hey, you better tell a nigga, hey, niggas, niggas start niggas playing with me in that little jail, boy. I'm not no just a YouTube nigga, boy. I'll fight too, boy. Crazy as a bitch. Hey. Hey. Boy, it feels so it feels so fucking good to be out, boy. It feel good to be back in that cat. Feel good to be back in that cat. Hey, hey. <laughs>